Which one do you think knows more about their sport? Or which one do you think thinks they know more about it? Oh, it's it's easily Jerry. And Jerry does know more. Jerry's a football guy. Like the, the, this the we got the idea that Jerry's not a football expert is kind of nuts. He's been in the industry for 30 years and he played college football. Yeah, but can Jerry sit there and break down? I think Broadus told me once he could, but break down film. Yeah. X's and O's. He played college football. He, 60 years ago. I you know, I understand that, but I mean, yeah. like he he clearly can. Okay. Yeah, but I think if you play college football, if you play college at any level, you're basically an expert on the sport. Okay. Now, you may not be able to scout it, right? But even Pat McAfee told us, like, yeah, like I, I remember when he, we were at the Super Bowl. He was like, I was in all the meetings. Like, I could break down. I could tell yeah. you about defense. Um, that doesn't mean you can scout it. Do you think that Mark thinks he knows a ton about it? Like I the, have the, met like as zero it, billionaires, okay, officially where I know <laughs> them. I assume that a billionaire thinks they know everything. That's my assumption. Okay, I I, I do fear that because Mark plays pickup ball, and because he's been around, I, I can't get that Cuban. Skip Bayless segment out of my mind from years and years and years and years ago where Mark's like, tell me what this is. Tell me what this play is. Or like, tell me this terminology. And because Mark has been around it, uh, maybe he maybe he thinks he knows more than he actually does. I'm scared of that. Is Mark too new school or is Jerry too old school if you had to pick one? Oh. Jerry is too old school. Okay. I would agree with that as well. Yes. Way too old school. I would think so. Okay. Because yesterday, Kavanaugh, while blasting Cuban, was saying, here's a guy, along with Bob Volgaris. Bob Volgaris, a gambler, said, I believe I can build a team better than any other GM in the entire sport. That's how he made his millions, lost his millions, and then apparently made his millions back. So I wonder if Cuban... I mean, why wouldn't Cuban think along those same exact lines that him and Bob right. Volgaris can outdo Steve Ballmer and Jerry West or any other great GM and owner tandem out there? Try it out, right? Try it out. I, look, I, 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 I think I could build an NFL team. I think I could build a Major League Baseball team. I'm probably nuts, <laughs> but I still think I could do it. Uh, I mean, I, I would look at it from a totally different perspective. I would like to think that I would have... Uh, especially in the NFL and baseball, it's going to be a little tougher. But in the NFL, I think you have GMs that are so antiquated. Uh, just just look at what Jay Glazer said yesterday about how trades actually happen. If you catch them on a bad day, I mean, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I think the NFL GMs are ripe for the picking. You could just run circles around some of these fossils. So I would love to get the chance. But, you know, I don't know what basketball is like. You know, is Daryl Morey... Uh, you know, Daryl Morey is, I mean, he's, uh, let's, uh, let's face it, like, what's what's Daryl Morey doing? Analytics. Yeah, he's an analytics guy. He's been there for a while. Yeah. And the Mavs are just now getting into it? Whose quote-unquote GM has less control? Is it is it Will McClay slash Steven or Donnie Nelson before yesterday? Because I don't, yes, Jerry's the GM, but I think a lot of that is, is in title. Yeah. Whose GM has less control? I, I think it's the Mavs. Also, because think I, about that. Think about the per, what the perception has always been. Right. Always I, Jerry handcuffing, Jerry interfering, Jerry this, Jerry that. Uh, I think it may be the Mavs as well. I, I think it may be, and I, and I also think that the N NBA GM also does less. The NBA GM is basically waiting for the star to tell him where he's going. You don't really put a presentation together for the star in the NBA. They kind of get together on their own, and like, like, like who? I don't. Who the GM of the Nets is? Is it's, it's not? Is it Bobby Marks' brother? Is it Sean Marks? Who, I mean, who even the, is the GM of the Nets? Yeah, Sean Marks, I believe. You think Sean Marks had a real big hand in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving deciding to go there? No. 
No, like they both wanted to go to New York and they're like, well, the Knicks are a mess. Let's just go over here. This is fine. Yeah, we want to live there. Yeah. So I, I don't I think it's I think it's the Mavs GM has less to say. Cuban versus Jerry, Autoflex he seen fan text after the Donnie Nelson news yesterday. Who's more stubborn? Uh mm. I think Jerry's more stubborn. Mm. I think Cuban's more arrogant. Okay. I don't know if you want to put both of those in the same sentence. Uh but I think I think Jerry's more stubborn, Cuban more arrogant. Okay. I don't have a good feel on that one. I was I would lean I think I might lean Cuban's more stubborn. Okay. I don't know. That's a really tough one. He's definitely more arrogant. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a real tough one. It, it, you know what? I'll go with Jerry because I think Jerry's more old school than Cuban is new school. And I think Jerry's stubborn and kind of set in his ways. He's not really changing at this stage. Who meddles more? Who meddles more? Mark. I agree. He's on the bench. He's, I mean, you can't tell me that he's not sitting there talking to the players during the game. You know, so I, yeah, I'll say Mark meddles more. Okay. Has to.